That's all the housekeeping. I'm also gonna just take a moment quickly here to introduce our two speakers. We have Verena um, coming in from Austria and hey. 8.30 in the morning for her. Um, welcome Verena and good morning or good evening, how you'd like to look at that. Um, she's a writer. She um, is also a bioresonance therapist um, and she works with both children and adults. Then we also have Steph, who happens to also be Austrian, and the two of them just met on the post-it note in Miro. Um, so that was quite interesting and serendipitous. Steph is a soul photographer, so she captures the essence of the individual through her photographs. And she is certainly a practitioner of living from the heart. I'll hand over to both of you now. Thank you so much, Camille. Um, I quickly give you a rundown of the session so you know what's happening. Um, we will stay in this room for most of the time um, and we will ask you a few questions and it would be great if you could put it into the chat that Camille just explained at the bottom, the little bubble with the three dots. And what we will do is we will do it in a waterfall, which means we just did it um, together with Stephen. So what we would ask you is to answer the question, but just wait and then we hear the beautiful sound from Camille with the singing bowl and then we will push the button for the go and then we can all see and read it at the same time which is really beautiful. Okay um, let's try this with just a quick one um, and see how it goes. So my first question would be what kindness have you experienced today? So if you just write it into the chat window and then just wait. So have you experienced it yourself or has, yeah, someone give you kindness? Have you given someone kindness? Okay. And if you're ready, Camille, where's your beautiful sound? Go for it. Oh. Okay. Love that. Beautiful. Thank you for that. You can just read it on the screen yourself or pick out some that you really love. Love from my family is gorgeous. Three cups of coffee is awesome. Coffee, that sounds you will be <laughs> Tim, your flatmate when? Simone of um, um, Blue. Um, that's the question. Thank you. So that's the idea we have with the questions. Um, okay. Right from the start, may I ask you to take both of your hands and wrap them really well together until it gets really, 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 really hot. So you do it like you need to push them and go really fast and you will feel they will heat up. And when you've done that, just pop them on your heart and see if you can feel something. Ah, oh, I always love this. So kindness comes from here, from the heart, and it travels and radiates out. And I think we all have experienced it when we were little and we're still experiencing it. It's a really gentle wave. And I just wanted to ask you how you feel when you receive kindness and you say it happy and hopeful, loving, content, soft, thankful, just grabbing a few here awake. So it touches us and it touches other hearts. And Verena and I really would like to dive with you into a few questions and see how we can create kindness in our future, which starts from the now. So I would like to give now Verena, who is um, telling us a bit about it. Verena, you go for it. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, well, what, what is kindness? I asked this to children and a little boy answered, in my kingdom, everyone would be kind, everyone would protect our environment and make sure they didn't scare or frighten anyone. This eight-year-old boy's vision is the vision of a generation. Can you share that vision? And if such a kingdom existed, what would it look like? And that's our first question. We would like to ask you again to type it into the chat but not send it yet and do it in the waterfall style. So if this kingdom of kindness that this eight-year-old boy longs for, if it existed, what does it look like? Please type it into your 
your chat, but don't send it yet. We will hear, we will hear the gong again, the beautiful sound um, when we are ready. And take your time, don't rush. Yes, there is, there is time. Although the sessions seem to be short, but then it's longer than, than it seems. And if you have um, if you have a great idea and you you don't want to share it, please don't type it in. <laughs> we will try to save everything from the chat so that your ideas are not lost. Okay, Camille, do you want to? One, two, three. Wow. Living and thriving on abundance. Wow. Emotional intelligence. Yeah, that's the hev heaven. He that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Peaceful and friendly. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of good things. Um, mm. Yeah. Lots of nature. I like that too. No cars. Peaceful. What else have we got? Everyone is lo warm, loving, considerate of others, practicing empathy. I like that too. That is, that is really lovely because that's what, chi what children, whenever I ask them, of course, they, everyone is different and everyone has a different approach. But the main two things they all mention is kindness and being kind to your environment too. So they want to protect not just themselves, but also the others. That's very, very lovely, I think. Um, yeah, if you're ready for our second question, I hope you are, please, please show me if, if it's good for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the second question would be, um, what did we do to create this? So I would say, how yeah, did we create it? How did we create it, yeah. So that's the question, how did we get there? So have a think of, how did we do it? And I'm wondering, um, shall we go into breakout rooms for a few minutes for this? Is that okay, Razi, if you would just pair us in three? Or four uh, sure, minutes? yeah, sure, I can do that. And then so we come want... back to answer that together. Sure, and how many minutes do you want then? I would say four, sounds yeah. good. Four. Okay. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions about the question or does everybody feel clear with what the question is that you're going into breakout room with? Good. Thumbs up. Okay. Temperature check. So when the window pops up and asks you, do you want to join? You just press join. Yeah. First time this I did that, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. So I'm putting three to four participants per room. That would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Because we are quite a small group, would it be okay to open all the mix for this? Sure. Sorry, open what, sorry? The, all the, the mics. The mics, the sorry. Mic. Can speak. Just unmute them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, sure, I can do that. There you go. Okay, thank you. Would it be okay if you, <laughs> um, if you go into the chat window and write something from that session again into the chat? What you? I'm armed when you want me to be. <clears throat> okay, go for it, Camille. <laughs> Slowing down and having no noise, yeah. Reconnect to our true natures, that's, that's nice. Oh. Be aware and obvious, yeah. 
because I think it's easy to be kind when you're not hungry, when you're not in a mood. <laughs> so yeah, that's wow. I also love that to reconnect to our true natures and to slow down. It has a lot with slowing down in our um, group. It was also interesting um, where, where she, yeah, <laughs> Rachel, um, was it you saying that it was, I'm just trying to connect, the photos were different. Um, no, it was, sorry, it was Hannah saying that it was, um, maybe you want to repeat it, that it's so nice to actually have no noise in the night and really slowing down. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing about lockdown is you don't have the connections with others, which is really difficult, but there are some aspects of it, like the fact that there aren't lots of planes and cars buzzing around and making lots of noise, and you particularly notice it at night. It's just so quiet and it's so peaceful. Mm. So that's really lovely. Mm. Are we ready to dive into the last question that we have? And if it's okay, it would be great if you could mute again the other mics. Mics or mix? I'm still learning that language. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hang on, we still, Verena, we can't hear you yet. One second. Yes. Yeah. Can ahead, you hear me now? Yes. Great. Um, sorry for that. Um, the last question is, how do we sustain it? So this kingdom of kindness, what do we do to not just create it, but uh, live in a world constantly that is kind, respectful, listening, environment friendly? Um, if you could again type it, but not send it. And when we hear the beautiful gong again, then please give it to us, give your answers to us as a waterfall again. So take your time and just think of what we do to sustain this kingdom. And I want to have a moment of silence, um, although that's unusual in space, but maybe now we could gift ourselves with a moment of silence while we think of the last answer. Building in time each day to slow down and practice kindness. Stay kind to ourselves and allow the circle to happen. It's, that's great. Thanks for all your answers. Yeah, do it. <laughs> that's <laughs> Just do it, right? Um. It's interesting that the slowing down and the connecting to ourselves comes up because I think a lot of kindness in the world comes to being kind to ourselves first. Mm -hmm. And then it radiates out to others. I think it's really hard to do the whole mind. I need to be kind. It, it, it comes from here. And the first one is actually to dig down and start learning to be kind to yourself, which in my story of life was quite a journey to learn that and to be aware of it and ask myself constantly, are you enjoying what you're doing? What can I do for you now? Would you like a cup of tea? I don't wait for someone else to ask me these things. I ask them myself. And from that, that kindness then flows to other members in my family or clients or people I meet or my gorgeous friends. And I think that's for me a really, really big part. Um, yeah, so I would love to open just for two minutes if that's okay, because I think we still have that time to quickly open up the mix and, and if you want to say something, raise your hand and then Raz, Razi could open your mic if you want to add something or share something. Just raise your hand and wave. And before you get started on that, I'm just giving you the five minute warning. Thank you. Thank you. 
So we had someone. Martina. And Leonard, I think, or was it just the way? Who was that? Sue and Leonard. Yes. So, yeah, so I was I was just going to say that um, when um, you know when I when I experience kindness um, from somebody else continually, like you know through counselling or something like that, um, it can make major you know it has made major changes in my life because I felt like you know I had someone who really cared and someone who really um, was there for me. So it, I you know the outside. Um, caring from another person actually made a massive change in my life mm. yeah that's lovely thank you thank you, thank you sue I, I think the the point that's coming out that uh, this is one of those things that it's not possible to um constantly in in, in a mass group of people go and teach this or pull this out of people the biggest way of teaching it is by showing it um, it, it, it is showing kindness, living kindness, being kindness. That's the only way that kindness morphs outward. It, it, it becomes a circular thing from that. So you have to be and be in that space all the time. And, and one, of, one other thing to say to that, I think one of the other challenges with kindness is not to get stuck in um, um, uh, the, the, the conventional perceptions of purity of kindness sometimes kindness is quite strong um, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's uh, it's so soft and caring and loving um, and it's being okay that kindness has different faces because when it comes from the heart the strength that comes sometimes is experienced as as much kindness as the softness that comes sometimes um, yeah. and and in that regard for me it's really sad to not see more men in this room because that's a lot of where some of the problems out there lie mm -hmm. Very, very well said. Thank you. Really appreciate that. I meet you. And it's also a very nice way to come to our last exercise that Steph will, re will present to you. So, yes, I would love you to put, you know, where we put into the little brackets behind our name, how kindness feels to us. I would love that you think of one action for today or tomorrow that you would like to do that's kind to yourself or others whether it's sharing something or complimenting someone just one action or maybe you got inspired by someone and what they said If you could, it would be um, beautiful if you could put it also in the chat. Steph, do you want to mention the shared document or would you like to let that go? Um, I would just like to say there is a shared document and if you would like to put any ideas in further, we will copy all the thread from there. But also if you have any books you want to share, anything that, that or an action or anything that inspires you, please share it. Um, people will go back there and have a good look, me too. And I would love to um, connect with you through that. Yeah, I'd like to say thank you for participating, I think. Yes, thank you. Uh, you've been really kind. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, Camille, is there something else to say? Uh, that's it, really. I think the closing now is to take just the, the next two minutes, do what you need to do um, and read the program and figure out which room you want to go to next. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>